Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to customize your AutoCAD cursor crosshair, specifically like the one you see in the middle of the screen. There are multiple things you can do to customize it from the size to the color. And if you like the Windows options, such as the pointer, you can also customize that as well. You can do a couple other options within Windows too. So I know I've created a couple other videos that showcase these. Um, customizations but this video is going to be a video to wrap everything up all into one so with that being said let's get into the video let's see what kind of customizations we can make to the crosshair in AutoCAD real quick before we get started please consider subscribing to the channel gives me an idea of how the videos are doing and how much you guys like them if you find the video helpful give it a like down below if you think someone else could use this video or you think it'd be helpful to someone else please give it a share and if you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so let's get started here. And this should be a relatively quick lesson. Um, but there's going to be a few couple of different ways you can get into the customization box for the crosshair. And it's going to kind of be intermingled with a bunch of other uh, options as well. The first one is down here in the command line. You have this little wrench. And you just click it and you press the options button. And it'll take you to the options dialog box. The other way to do that is just right click on the mouse and go all the way down to options and it'll take you into the options dialog box as well. So once you're in the options dialog box, we're going to focus on the crosshair size at first, which is going to be right under, it's going to be in the display tab and it's going to be to the right, right here. And you have an option now to um, slide the cursor back and forth to change the size, or you can just type it in manually as well. So since it's six, that was the default. We are gonna move it up to say 52 and we'll click apply and click okay. And as you can see here now, you have a massive uh, cursor. Uh, this is huge, I wouldn't recommend using this, but if it's something you like to use or you want a really big cursor, uh, feel free to use it. Again, when you zoom out, the cursor doesn't get smaller. It stays this size no matter where you're at. So we're going to change this back to uh, 6, I guess, or the normal size that I had it at. And the next thing we're going to look at is the actual color. So we're going to click Apply. The next thing we're going to look at is the actual color of the cursor because you can change that as well. So you're, to change the color of the cursor, you're going to stay in the Display tab. And you're going to come over here to the left where it says Colors. You're going to click Colors. And then it's going to pull up another box for you to mess around with. So the context area right here is not something you need to worry about, but you are going to need to look at the interface element, which is the second box, and you're going to want to click crosshairs right here, second one down. And then once the crosshair is clicked, you can then go to color and you can have or decide your color options. So you have your classic options right here, or you can select a color from the color panel. We are just going to do a uh, green color. For this example, click apply and close, click OK. And as you can see here, your crosshair is now green. All right, so we're going to come back in and change it to white again because I don't care for the color green on my crosshair. I just want the natural, simple color of it. So we're going to go white, apply and close, click OK. And it's back to white. And we're going to come to the options button one more time. Because the other thing you can do as well is when you go over to drafting, you can also, oops, not drafting, selection. The selection tab will allow you to change the pick box size as well. So when I choose the pick box size, I can come up here to the upper left hand corner and I can make this pick box massive. So right here I have a massive pick, pick box and I'm going to click apply, click OK. And as you can see here, now my pick box inside of the crosshair is a little bit different. Now, with all this being said, um, you can actually add all of these on top of each other. You can combine a bunch of them. You can do really anything you want to customize that crosshair. All right, so we discussed customizing the crosshair specifically tailored to a uh, pick box size, the size of the crosshair and the color. So let's say, let's just do an example here. Let's say that someone wants a red crosshair with a large pick box and a medium sized uh, crosshair size. So we're going to go to options. We're going to right click this time, go to options. They wanted a 
uh, medium sized crosshair, so we'll go right in the middle there. They wanted the color of red, so we're going to come up here to crosshair. We're going to click red, apply and close. And this right here is where you want to click apply to get those couple of changes. We're going to apply, and then we're going to go to drafting, excuse me, selection, and take the pick box. Now, as you can see, the pick box here, we want a, a larger pick box size. I believe that's what I said. But you can already see the pick box is in red, like the um, red color of the crosshair that we already selected. The reason why it's red is because we clicked apply a second ago. So it's already applied that to the format of the crosshair. So we're going to go large pick box. We're going to click OK. And as you can see here, we have a large crosshair with a large pick box and it is red. So that's just an example of how you can customize a crosshair with color, pick box size, and size of the crosshair all in one. All right, so there's one last way that we can actually um, customize our crosshair, and this is a little bit different, but say you don't even want the crosshair. Say you want something more like a Windows pointer tool or really any other Windows shape. There's also a way to do that, and the way you are going to be able to do that is by coming down here and you to the command line and we're going to type in cursor type and as you can see here it's already showing up first we're going to click enter and we're going to click we're going to type in excuse me one and click enter now as you can see here it is giving me the windows pointer cursor and i can draw with that now it is not giving me the crosshair anymore um so that is an extremely useful tool if you want the windows uh, pointer the other thing you can do as well is change your Windows pointer in your uh, control center of your computer and it will update onto AutoCAD itself. So for example, we're going to come down to our Windows um, search tab and we're going to go to control center or control panel and it's going to pull up this control panel right here and we're going to come over here to cursor. We're just going to type in cursor and I can change how the mouse pointer looks right here. We're going to click on that. Then what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down the list of things we can choose from. Um, we can also browse right here. Let's say I want to change it to this arrow busy Excel. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see here, that's the preview right there. We're going to click open and we are going to click apply. And as you can see here, we're going to close out. I now have this um, loading circle that I can use to literally draw lines uh, in AutoCAD. Is it really that great of a tool? Is it necessary? Do I enjoy it? No, I would never use this. This to me is, is kind of dumb. But again, it's an option if you would like to use it. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned a lot. Hopefully you were able to take away some of the lessons learned in this video and apply them to your AutoCAD use and experience yourself. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.